press Command or Control T to initiate a free transform. If you keep your cursor outside the transform box, it'll turn into a two-way rotation arrow, and then you can rotate your object. Holding the Shift key restricts you to 15 degree increments. In the center, there is a reference point that you can move and rotate the transformation around it. Command or Control T for free transform. Right mouse button click inside of there. We scaled last time and we've rotated. Let's skew. So I'm going to grab a corner and skew this. You'll notice when I right mouse button click inside the transform box that some of these transformations are grayed out. And that's because this is text and you can't do those kinds of transformations on text regularly. But you can if you'll turn this into what's called a smart object. I'm going to cancel out of this transform and I'll come over here to my text layer I'll right mouse button click in it. There we go. And I will convert this into a smart object. That places this text into a kind of a protective envelope that will allow us to do even more things in it. So I'm going to press Command or Control T to do a free transform. You'll notice that it looks just a little bit different and that a lot of those things that were grayed out are no longer grayed out. So let's show you what a perspective transform looks like. I'm going to grab a corner, pull down, or I can pull this way. You can grab a center handle and transform that way or that way. You'll just have to play around with it and see what you can do with it. Command or Control T for free transform on my smart object. I'll right mouse button click and let's do distort and see what happens when we grab handles with the distort. And we can really twist things around if we want. It's pretty amazing. Command or Control T for free transform. Again, this is the smart object that we're working on. I'm going to right mouse button click. We can rotate. We can flip horizontal. We can flip vertical. And we can do something called warp. Warp is really interesting. When you click inside, you can warp it depending on where you click. It's just like pushing pixels around. It has handles on it that you can move in or, or out. You can right mouse button click in there once you started to warp something. And you can split the warp either horizontally, vertically, or crosswise. And then you can just warp the section that you're that you're working in there. Play around with this and see what you can do.